Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another intuitive spiritual download. If this is the first time that you are coming across my channel, my recommendation is that you put on your spiritual seatbelt. It's just a recommendation. I know this is our first time meeting, but nine times out of 10, if you landed here in spiritual court, there's something here that you need to know. Whatever it is by way of a spiritual case that is being exposed by way of truth and clarity, it's long overdue. Whatever it is, righteous justice and or judgment is absolutely being rendered. I recommend that you come in with your higher self. That is the best thing. Sometimes you want to come in with the good, the bad, or the indifferent. Either way, karma and the universe is absolutely backing you in the energy. No matter what you decide to do, just know that I'm wishing you peace, love, and light. <laughs> Nine times out of 10 though, again, spirit guided you here because there's something here that you need to know. I support you, however you decide to take the energy and or put it down. Now, if you're returning back to the channel, then baby, you already know we've been rocking and rolling new moon energy. You got a couple of little flunkies out there that are still kind of going to and fro, trying to distract all this good energy. The sun is still sunning and the sunflowers are still absolutely radiant and beautiful, which is why I decided to bring one inside. Bring a little sunshine into your life. Some of these people need a hug. Some of them need a paycheck. Some of them don't know what to do. Some of them need a check up. Nevertheless, peace, love, and light, cross watchers, bitter bonnies, negative nancies, whatever you want to call yourself. Listen, we support you in the energy. I love you, soul tribe. Come on in here and get the spiritual work. I did burn a little frankincense and myrrh, y'all. So I'm going to be honest. It's a little smoky, a little murky up in here. So I got to clear up my vocal cords. Hold on. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Because, baby, I had to smoke something out, honey. I just like to do a cleanse on my house daily to cleanse my cards. And I think I might have smoked a little too much of the smoke by way of the frankincense. Let's just keep it real. I was I was getting it, y'all. I had uh -huh. when I go through the house, <laughs> I got some neighbors that just up and leave. I'm like, where y'all going? Oh, 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 we got to go. I'm like, where y'all going? I prayed against bad spirits and everybody on the block disappeared. Okay. Well, nevertheless, <laughs> I love you, Soul Tribe. Soul Tribe. Soul Tribe. Soul Tribe. Love and light. Ding, 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 ding. Soul Tribe. I freaking love you so much. I love you so freaking much. I send you so much love and light. I pray that wherever you are, all is well. The most high is well with us. But let's go ahead and get into this intuitive download. This is going to be a new moon energy check type of freestyle energy download ishness type of an energy. We're going to freestyle it. Holy Spirit, divine angels. Please put a shield of protection around me, specifically Archangel Michael. Shout out to Archangel Michael, creator of all things. Thank you for the angels. Thank you for the fact that they fight for us against things, powers and principalities and negative people, known and unknown enemies that maybe sometimes we can see and sometimes we don't give a damn to see. We just thank you. So shall it be. These cards are dedicated to the truth. They cannot lie. By way of truth and clarity, anything trying to intercede and or contrary to what it is I'm asking you for, my Abba, please block and stop it. All right, so all eyes are on us, okay? I kind of felt that. I've been getting some weird-ass comments and weird-ass people. I just, child, 2024 standing on spiritual business. <laughs> I just be looking at them like, okay, listen, page of swords. I spy, we spy, everybody spy, spy. Hey, hey, I spy, we spy, they spy. Somebody's watching, lurking, murking, watching your page, watching your everything, watching your every move. Somebody could be watching you as you go outside to get the mail. Somebody's watching you cut your grass. Somebody's watching you to go to your car. 
somebody's home all day yeah they're obsessed okay so you got a lurker a murker a spy somebody's watching they're looking they want to know who you are what you do okay yeah somebody could be somebody's just obsessed you're something to watch you're somebody to see you're somebody to I guess inquire about yeah oh somebody's in silent competition okay so this is new moon energy y'all all right I don't know where the planets are but you know listen <laughs> I usually can feel what's going on I don't need to know what Mercury's doing somebody told me the other day oh you know it's a new moon I said oh is that right <laughs> I had absolutely no idea because once I feel honestly y'all you get to a certain level in your spirituality you keep it copacetic. You balance out the energy irregardless, right? Some people live their lives around the cycles, right? And it's good to recognize the moon cycles. I'm not here to, you know, criticize and or negate what people do around the moon or the full moon, whatever that is, right? But I just feel like when you really are walking that walk, that you maintain a certain level of energy no matter what, right? So it's kind of like if there's conflict in the ethers, you're so much at peace. You're like, oh my God, there's conflict in the ethers because that's something like letting my soul team, my spirit team, my angel guides fight on my behalf and I'm trusting the process, right? It absolutely represents hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Very much aware that things are being spoken against you. Very much aware that somebody is just trying to wage war on you. Okay, or giving you evil eye, aware of it, but it's like, okay, there's so much that needs to be done by way of being about our father's work that honestly, anything opposite of your birthright, your destiny, being committed to your work spiritually is a waste of time. So if people want to waste their time watching you and waging war, then let them, okay? I just heard, you're going to shoot your eye out. Somebody's going to take their eye out. I cannot make it up. <laughs> okay shout out to the guy that's cutting the grass outside he watches the channel i'm sure he's going to be very amused to hear his lawnmower in the background but the grass needs to be cut i just heard and the wicked shall be cut down like the grass there is no pun intended that was 744 is that right just as i said that check that synchronicity listen so there's a tower okay i, I keep hearing you're going to shoot your eye out. So somebody's aiming something at you, directing negative energy, giving you evil eye, talking about you, silent competition, arguments, tension. Somebody wants chaos, okay? I always say that when the devil is loud, that's when you got to be real still, okay? Because there's some type of blessing. Look, I'm like, come on in here, y'all. Now that the guy stopped cutting grass right on time for me to whisper, I always say when the devil starts to create a stir or you start to get, you know, gang stalkers or, or just weird ass people, weird energies and enemies or whatever this is, right? Um, this is when you really need to focus in on what the divine is doing because every time there's an attack, there's a huge blessing. This is the reason why the demons get so upset. Why am I whispering? I just feel like, I, I don't know. I just feel like, a come on in, have a seat. Let me tell you in your ears, a little something. <laughs> come here, let me whisper a little something to you. Listen, I just feel like, yeah. Yeah, it's like they intuitively can feel, oh my God, this person's ascending. Oh my God, they're about to get a new gift. Oh my God, abundance is coming. Like, And they try to do everything to like jump in your way. It's giving me trickster energy. It's giving me illusions. It's giving me like, hey, can you see me? We're like, no, you're transparent. I see right through you. I know what you are. I'm observing you, but I'm not absorbing this energy. And I see right through to you. And right down there is my pot of gold. Right down there is my sunshine. Right down there is my rainbow. Right down there is my wishes being fulfilled. So, <laughs> you know, excuse me, but not excuse me. But you're going to have to get out of my way. And so what happens is you walk up to the dragon the dragon knows that it has to get off your path, excuse me, and out of your way. And the dragon disappears. Where the hell did the dragon go? Well, well nobody knows. Okay. <laughs> the dragon turned into a little frog. 
the dragon turned into a little musty little lizard. Listen, I'm telling you, I cannot make this up. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. This is the catch about the enemy, y'all. They don't know what's coming in for you. They just know that something big and good and divine is coming in for you. They don't know. This is the thing that the enemy will never tell you. They only have, uh, how do you say, they can only work in the shadows, right? There's no light in them. There's no divinity in them. There's no, there's nothing of God in them, okay? So they can only work in the past. They can only work in the shadows. They can only work with what used to bother you, right? But once you've mastered yourself by way of being an ascended master, somebody's just playing in old energy, stagnant, stale energy. Somebody's projecting something again onto uh, an old version of you that does not exist anymore, right? So here they are lurking, murking. Yeah, listen, the hermit. You went within, you're going within, so you don't have to go without, right? You can intuitively feel what's going on. You already know that you know, you know, right? The hermit, the hermit is like introspection, enlightenment, solitude, contemplation. In the middle of all of what appears to be chaotic or somebody wanting to create chaos for you, you're in peace, solitude, grounded, Virgo energy. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like, how do you feel about your inner world? And people are like, oh, did you see what's his name over there? They were talking about you. They're giving you the evil eye. And you're like, oh, over there, as in the outer world, something outside of me that doesn't concern me because I have peace on the inside of me. So I know that whatever this is, it has to be dismantled. It will be dismantled. It's inevitable that that absolutely cannot touch me because my inner world is painting my outer world. So whatever that is, it's an illusion. It doesn't concern me. Even if people feel they want to include me, it doesn't concern me. That Virgo energy is purification, baby. Come through with the freestyle. Okay, well, your enemies are weighed down. Somebody's weighed down trying to weigh you down. Somebody's going crazy trying to drive you crazy. Somebody's in a chaotic situation trying to create chaos and wreak havoc in your life. And now they're just watching. The page of swords watching. <laughs> you like, watch out for that tree. Oh, watch out for that tower. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to go within. You got it. You're, 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 you know, you're exterior driven. Somebody is dedicated to what it looks like on the outside. Somebody refuses to go within. Yeah, I cannot make it up. I cannot make it up, my friend. This is all about you moving forward. Something about you moving in faith and solitude. Something about you being at peace. I just heard peace of mind. You're open to new adventures. You're going on a new journey. While somebody's over here wreaking havoc, look at you. You're looking the opposite direction like do 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 Look, taking very little with you. You know, this is giving I'll buy things once I arrive. I'm leaving everything behind me and I'm packing light on this journey. This means burdens too, dropping that shit off permanently, taking a leap of faith with the foot. <laughs> while somebody's over here blowing up shit getting in the way f you do, do, evil eye watching you trying to stop you block you seven of swords sneaky and deceptive coming coming up under secret accounts or hidden enemies or neighbors or whatever the hell that is i'm telling y'all listen just a commercial break every single time okay i burned my palo santo of which i hadn't burned my palo santo in a really long time but every time I burn my Palo Santo, why do I get that? Why do I get that? Um, that dialect? Okay. I swear I got some Hispanic ancestors in my blood because sometimes I just want to talk like this and it's very, listen, it's very comfortable. I don't know. I don't want to offend anybody, but I feel like I'm pretty much every lineage at this point. And if you're in my real soul tribe family, you absolutely are too. We embody all the races. I got all the bloodlines. You got all of them left. All of them, boo. Listen. But nevertheless, okay, every time I burn my Palo Santo, I call upon the Santos and all my neighbors disappear. I'm like, where everybody go? I'm like, I'm the only one on the street. Literally, they start running. It's giving I'm rubber and you're glue. Anything you think about me, be that good, bad, or indifferent, is going to bounce off of me and stick to you. Okay, well, listen, that's a real mindset. 
So somebody's running on the run. Okay, you're on a leap of faith. You're taking a leap of faith. The page of cups. Somebody's sad. Somebody wants to live like some type of a apology, a message. Okay, somebody's very sensitive. Somebody's emotionally immature too with that page of cups. So somebody's doing little tedious things to try to get into your energy. Three of wands. This is somebody at a distance. So somebody's projecting, astral projecting, traveling. Okay. Wanting to obstruct your view, I just heard. Delay you. Somebody's frustrated because they're getting delays in their life and they can't stop you. Somebody was really dedicated, really wasting their time all the while. Okay. I just heard bombs over Baghdad. <laughs> All the while, somebody's waging war with bombs over Baghdad or wherever the hell they think they dropping these bombs, y'all. You're in hermit mode, like in a completely different world. Yeah, my inner world creates my outer world. And so I'm at peace. And you're, you're thinking about where you want to go, what you want to do. And somebody is over here throwing all kinds of hands and hiding them. Okay, I just heard spirits say we're cutting off all of these karmic people's hands so that everybody knows that they threw rocks and hit them and that they're thieves, they're spiritual assassins waging war for they don't even know why they mad no more, y'all. I'm gonna be honest. These people, <laughs> they don't. If you ask them, hey, what, what's wrong? Why are you mad? They're gonna be like, um, I don't know. They've been fighting for so long, y'all. I'm going to be honest. I don't think these people know what they're mad about. Okay? If, are they mad at themselves? Or, you know, yeah, I don't think they know. This is all about you going towards something divine. Something about your destiny and your birthright. Okay? Clarify, please, and thank you. You just keep transmuting the energy. Yeah, look. Somebody is uh, out here betraying you or thinking that they're betraying you. And you're like, okay, <laughs> you're just staying to yourself. The hermit and the fool, look, taking a leap of faith. It's like everything is fine. Somebody's maliciously gossiping, watching you, talking. This is new moon energy, y'all. This, this is what Carmenville is up to again, okay? They could be fighting each other, okay? And fighting you, fighting everybody, fighting anything like, whoa, from a distance, we can't tell who the fool is. All these people fighting. It's a whole bunch of foolishness. A whole bunch of debauchery. I just. <laughs> Spirit guys. Yeah, look. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Hell to the dog. What the hell is going on? King of Cups in the reverse is a straight up hater emotionally in balance doing stuff just because they're impulsively emotionally out of whack queen of wands in the reverse okay is somebody that's malicious dark a dark ass witch so these are dark ass warlocks and witches i just heard emotionally volatile or is that a word volatile I just heard emotionally selfish, insecure, jealousy, coldness, failure, defeat, backstabbing, slander, evil eye. I mean, somebody is pulling out all the evil tricks. Somebody's pulling out all of the evil tricks. Do you understand me? Somebody knows that you're about to step into something that they can't stop. They're weighed down, stressed out, back tight, neck tight, not in their lower back, upper back. In the jaw area, somebody's flinching their jaw. Somebody's flinching and or squinting their evil eye is what I see with the page of swords. What the hell? Ooh, wee. queen of swords. Why is that here? I feel like you're beating somebody at their own game. Yeah. Ooh, whoever this person is, somebody's got something to prove. Okay. I feel like with the queen of swords, you're beating somebody at their own mind game. You're beating somebody at something that they started, but you're finishing it without even trying. Damn. Without even trying, you're, you're in hermit. You're thinking about the future. The fool is taking a leap of faith, having foresight, planning. 
getting a visual of what it is that you want. Somebody's a very wonderful manifester and you're dreaming. You're thinking about new beginnings. You're curious about trying something new. There's an innocence. Somebody could be working out. I just heard a new path in life. Yeah, you got a new journey. Something about the new, new. Listen, somebody feels as though they have unfinished business. The world is in the reverse. Somebody does not want a cycle to be over. Somebody also feels like a failure. They feel unfulfilled. They just feel like something's unfinished. And so they're bringing about all of this chaos for themselves. Again, clarify the hermit and the fool. Because I'm going to be honest. Clarify the hermit and the fool. Yeah, look. You're over here focusing in on what it is that you're doing. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. Somebody could be an earth sign. You got some earth in your chart or you're just handling your earthly affairs. Somebody's getting to the bag. Page of Pentacles represents good news about money, new opportunities, new ideas. Somebody could be getting a new job or creating a new job. I just heard. I just heard you're craving something new. You're craving something fresh. You want... Yeah, you're curious about new destinies and new journeys. And it's like, oh, which way does this road go? Okay, I'm going to go this way, right? That's what I'm getting. Hmm. Yeah. Somebody is like being like unbothered and untouched. I just heard. Unbothered and untouched. <laughs> and somebody's unhinged. Okay, well, you know, somebody's got to be unhinged. It's not you, Divine Collective, under this new moon energy. The moon. Somebody did something weird up under the moon again. And they already frustrated? Is this not day two or day three of the new moon? Which which day is this? I'm being guided to take it. The moon. Oh, God. Delusions. Eight of Pentacles working their little fingers to the bone, honey. Nine of Swords. Oh, Lord. Can it get any worse for these people? Three of swords. Lord, let me just shuffle this up. Let me shuffle the energy, honey, because that's crazy. Sheesh. Somebody is dedicated, working day and night. A lot of mental energy, a lot of spazzing now, a lot of emotional outbursts, a lot of irritation. Somebody feels like a failure. Somebody's at their lowest. Somebody's absolutely at their lowest, y'all. And here you are, like, taking a leap of faith, like, oh, <laughs> you know, getting news in the mail. Oh, good news about money. Like, oh, I prayed for money. Like, seriously, these are two completely different perceptions and or existences. Two very seriously parallel realities, y'all. All shits aside, all giggles aside, just for shits and giggles, pun intended, Baby, this is crazy. This is two alternate parallel realities, two lines and two lifestyles and two energetic frequencies that will never, ever intersect and or coexist. Together. It's impossible. They're two opposite, two polar opposites. Somebody's on a high ass vibration with this hermit and somebody's ass is under the moon trying to re request some type of, again, foolishness, okay? Clarify the hermit. Lord, yeah, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. You're coming up as the Hierophant. Somebody is absolutely an earth sign or you got a whole bunch of earth in your chart or you're just grounded. Let's just say that. Taurus energy, Virgo energy, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, the Fool, Gemini energy. Somebody is just grounded and in the ethers at the same time. There's like a perfect balance of spirit and the physical by way of the 3D and the 5D and above. Somebody is on the ground. They're present. They're in this moment. They're well. They're grounded. But they're also in this dream state by way of the fool. And you're manifesting a whole different reality. Okay. Aware but unbothered with the queen of swords that somebody... Is looking at you, trying to create conflict, sneaky and deceptive, trying to weigh you down, all the tower. Like, what? Child, it's a victory for you. Okay, listen. And I say that respectfully. Okay, child, a child of the universe, no less. With every right to be here, my friend, listen. You're coming up as somebody that is a leader. King of Wands energy in the building. Somebody is a leader. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
and you're getting good karma. Somebody is totally unbothered. Can we just have a commercial break? What in the entire new moon hell is going on here for these people? Somebody is attacking a hermit. Somebody that knows how to go within, tap into source. Virgo, virgin, purity, energy, purifying your energy. Queen of swords, you're smart, you're sharp. Aquarius energy, what? You can see. Gemini energy, you communicate well with Mercury by way of retrograde. Well with your shadows, very intelligent, very wise in war. And you're winning because you have the Ace of Swords and you're telling yourself the truth. Libra energy, Queen of Swords, you're balanced, grounded. Somebody is air. Somebody is earth. Somebody is fire. They're well with themselves. And Aquarius gives me water sign energy. Somebody is completely balanced. And the forces of nature are giving them everything that they want under this new moon without you trying. Somebody is praying for money and you're saying, I am money. The fool is waking up like, I am money. I am love. <laughs> I don't want love. I am love. This is what I do. Wow. I am well. And somebody's trying to bind to you. Oh, we clarify this other people, these people over here. Okay, well, I can't make it up. They say I lie. I don't know who they is. I heard some stuff out in the ethers and somebody tagged me on something and said Neff was a liar. Okay, that's fine. Take it to my ABBA. <laughs> Moving right along. 2024 is absolutely supporting us in standing on spiritual business. We cannot be distracted. Nine of Swords, somebody's already into the third month of the year, baby, and they've lost more time than what they realize. The Nine of Swords, somebody's trying to bind to you, and they can't. Somebody cannot even energetically get in touch with you. <laughs> I mean, it's like, do, 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 do. beep, leave a message, and your ancestors are like, mm-mm, yeah, this mailbox is full. It's a hell to the gnaw. Somebody's being blocked. Nine of Swords. They can't sleep at night, okay? They feel hopeless, anxiety. Yeah, you're moving forward. You stood up for yourself. Somebody waged war and thought that you were going to give them a fight only to realize that they're fighting themselves, fighting their insecurities, fighting their own shadows, fighting their own demons. You ever seen somebody in a fight with themselves? It's hard to watch. Damn. Whew. Lord, have mercy. I cannot make this up. The star in the reverse. Okay. Somebody's lost all hope, all aspirations. I've been picking this up since the new moon. It's giving misery loves company type of an energy. Somebody's like, won't you come with me? You're like, what? Down misery lane? Hell no. <laughs> I'm not getting in your sick bed. How does that, how does that work out for me? Oh no, 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 no. The star in the reverse. It's giving me fallen star, fallen angel, falling dreams, uh, disbelief, insecurity. Somebody doesn't have any more faith. They're disappointed. Somebody doesn't like themselves. There's a lot going on with these people over here, mm -mm, honey. And they just keep watching you win. Five of Pentacles. Listen, this is poverty, but not just financially, y'all, because, you know, money, money comes and it goes, right? We use it as a tool for what it is that we need in the world, right? But five of pentacles represents spiritual poverty, being left out in the cold by the universe. The high vibrational version of the universe is what that five of pentacles represents. It's like somebody's not getting none of their wishes fulfilled because they keep wishing for bullshit and wishing for, you know, shit to happen to you and trying to wreak havoc. And that shit is bouncing off of you and sticking to them, bouncing off of us and sticking to them. Whatever they think about us, evil eye, gossip, whatever this is, the fact that we're not responding has got these people in their head. You were supposed to respond. Remember, somebody wanted a fight. And you're like, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I don't want to mess up my spiritual outfit. <laughs> you're like, no. Uh, I don't want to mess up my spiritual outfit. I have spirit guides and angels that fight for me. I don't have time for that. I'm going to sit with my spiritual guidance and go within. And yeah, 
You could be a spiritual teacher, leader, king of wands. It's like king of wands is somebody that sees the bigger picture. You're a leader. You're overcoming obstacles. You ain't got time for this bullshit. Whatever somebody trying to throw your way. Listen, queen of swords and you coming up balanced and smart. Yeah. What's a king to a knight? <laughs> this is how you see these people. Yeah. What's a knight of swords to the queen of swords? You're like, sit your little punk ass down. Queen, king, knight, knight. Knight of swords, not a wand. Like, listen, this is immature behavior. Hence the fact that the page of cups is there. Somebody immaturely waged war or thought they were and only realizing that they're under some type of illusion. You are not on the same page. You're like, we are not the same. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. You're not okay with it. Mm -mm. This is new moon energy. What the hell are they doing out here in this new moon? Yeah, look. Under illusions. Illusions I just heard. Yeah, projection. Four of swords. Losing it. Oh, my God. No energy. Sitting down. Playing with the moon. Hoping that the moon answers them back. Somebody's trying to tie into your energy. Somebody, uh, it's just weird. It's a, it's a sour taste. You understand what I'm saying? It's a sour life for somebody. Somebody's very sore. Somebody's very bitter, rancid, you know? They're just not satisfied. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. And here you come like this, all this divinity. Somebody's projecting seven of cups onto a hierophant, a king of wands, queen of swords. This is all your energy, divine collective, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. You're coming up as divine. Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, it don't get no more divine than that. This is somebody that, again, is like really talking to source, connected to source. This is somebody that has gone through enough dark nights of the soul by way of death, transformation, and rebirths that a lot of this shit you will never, ever, 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 ever have to deal with. It doesn't mean that there won't be things at different levels, but it absolutely won't be this bullshit. This is low vibe. Low vibrational, bottom of the barrel, you know, uh, crab in a bucket, misery loves company type of an energy, addictions and evil eye and gossip and conflict and sneaky and deceptive and everybody stabbing everybody in the back. And, you know, King of Cups in the reverse is just somebody that's emotionally unstable, somebody that's cold, bitter, manipulative, you know, impulsive. Okay. Angry because they're low on resources, going through financial hardships, going through mental hardships. These people are going through some type of form of poverty. But again, it's bigger than just monetization. This is spiritual anxiety. This is spiritual poverty. Yeah, it's difficult. Spirit says what I'm saying is the damn truth. And here you come telling the truth. The Hierophant. Somebody does divination. Somebody's tapped in. Somebody sees stuff before it happens. I just see you looking from a distance, like at down at something like, look at this. What is that? Oh, well. And you're in the full energy and you're looking the opposite way. You're watching people try to, you know, uh, shoot these rubber bullets. And I call them rubber because they're bouncing off of you. Whatever this is, chaos, poverty, whatever somebody is crazy y'all and they're getting a tower somebody was trying to invoke a tower this is new moon energy so what is this as recent as monday sunday somebody went to work sunday night somebody woke up monday morning and was looking like this after some work that they did <laughs> I got to laugh because we're not curbing our enthusiasm. Look at us. We're happy. Leave us alone. Listen, the hermit, the fool, you're just like, oh, that's interesting. And you're looking in the opposite direction. You're like, oh, that's right. I'm on my journey. I'm going to go this way. Will you all stay there and deal with all this, right? Because somebody's stuck in these karmic cycles. They think 2024 is a joke. This shit comes back so fast now. Like somebody thinks one negative thought towards you. It bounces off of us and it sticks to these people quickly, fast, quick. They can't even shift and shape into light at this point. The star in the reverse, somebody's in disbelief. 
Somebody's got shackles on their mind, honey. Ten of swords to the nine of swords, ten of wands. What is that? It ain't nothing good going on over here with these people. Listen, and you got my yacht spinning the block with your ancestors, 3505. This change is coming. You could be seeing 333 Ascended Master energy. Somebody's attacking Ascended Masters. Let's just keep it above. Will of Fortune, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, King of Wands, Hierophant, Queen of Cups. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't even think these people know what they're doing. Again, if you ask them why they're mad, they don't know. They don't know. No sabe. Listen. Toro no que brilla no este oro. Listen, they're looking like they're glowing, but there's nothing going on here. Look, Three of Pentacles. They're trying to talk to each other like, well, what, huh, what? We don't know. It's too much karma going on. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork, collaborative efforts. Look. Death. Destruction. Endings. Okay? Holding on to what is like in the past. Fear, illness, depression. This is what I'm getting for these people. And they're looking at themselves and they're trying to figure out what are we afraid of again? What are we mad about again? Mm -mm. let me get out of this energy two of wands somebody's at a distance somebody's projecting somebody's sending negative energy okay this is giving me astral projection okay yeah whatever this is they could be doing divination trying to figure out what the hell every time somebody tries to tap into this divine soul tribe energy they get sick or something happens or mentally something attacks them because again hold on y'all because again, they ain't got enough energy to tap into their own energy. Okay, hold on. Okay, so listen, like I said, somebody's been depleted. Somebody does not have enough energy. All the energy that these people had, they spent it, okay, at the Universal Bank. They spent it by way of projecting all this darkness onto you. You transmuted it. Somebody used fire, war. Somebody made you go into your arsenal to transmute the energy and somebody was waiting for you to do a return to sender so that they would at least have some type of energy to bounce back off of you and that didn't happen okay i mean begging waiting wanting waiting for crumbs of energy is sad after you've spent so much time and energy and effort to only be defeated and to only have to fall on your own sword they spent all their energy, y'all. 2024 is not giving any refunds. We keep telling y'all we're not, we not returning the sender. We're transmuting. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You want to send death? Thank you. You want to send sickness? Okay. You know, they wanted to know who we are. Who are we? What are we doing? Yeah, we're going to show you. Here you go. We don't need to show you anything. This is not about proving to anybody who we are. It's just a fact. These are actual facts. This is just what it is. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. They think we're arrogant. Somebody thinks we're arrogant. Somebody thinks we're stuck up. Mm, because we don't want to be in this vibration or because we've overcome our fears, overcome our shadows. These people love misery. Clarify, please, and thank you. Yeah, look. Somebody made a swift decision, okay, impulsively. What they should have done was they should have calmed down. And now this swift decision is giving them a swift ass kicking from the universe, 39, 22, just as I said that, okay? This is why I always say, you know, listen, my advice, and it's just a suggestion. We all have free will at the top of the morning, end of the day, wherever you are. Listen, well, if you feel angry, sit your punk ass down. That's like me. I got a lot of fire sign energy in my chart, right? So if something upsets me, which it takes a lot at this point, y'all. 
I, I, I just don't get impulsively angry over because somebody said something to me or they don't like me. I don't give a damn. Like at the end of the day, okay, that's how you feel. All right, now, now what you want me to do with that information and what do you plan to do with that, with that information is how I always feel. That's an opinion, right? But I always say like to calm that fire down, sit down, relax, take a cleansing bath. Don't do anything impulsive. Ask yourself, what am I mad about? Am I offended? Am I angry? You know, what is this that I'm feeling? Somebody didn't do that. Somebody just acted impulsively because they were mad. They were angry. They've been mad. Okay. And you just happened to be a casualty or so they thought in this weird ass war with themselves. Okay. Well, it's a hell to the no. You want to walk, pick up your sick bed and walk. Get your, get your ass up out this dark night of the soul. It's some weird ass energy. Nobody's about to eat your karma. Hell no, we will transmute it. So somebody did something in haste. Somebody panicked, okay? Somebody panicked out of fear, out of anger, out of not having any self-control. King of Cups in the reverse is somebody that's emotionally out of whack. They react to everything. Everything pisses them off and they just mad. They're ho oh, oh. They want to say, oh, you pissed me off. No, you was already pissed off. You was kind of committed to that shit when you woke up. Who wakes up and says, oh, well, I'm going to be mad today. Yeah, like get yourself together. Because now that you are not their victim, they're victimizing other people around them, but they're only drawing in negative people like themselves. So all of the enemies are fighting each other. They ain't got nobody else to fight. We're on this road and this journey. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. Who the hell would compromise in their right mind the Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Wheel of Fortune energy? For some low vibrational karmic bill in the ass shit like this. Take a trip to karmic bill? I don't think so. I'll pass. We'll pass, okay? On behalf of the divine collective, we absolutely do pass on the bullshit. Let's see. They don't like you. They're watching. They don't like you. They don't get they got all the swords on the board, baby. Eight of swords, self-imposed entrapment, illusions, delusions. Feeling like a victim, victimized by their own energy, okay? And trying to blame everybody with the exception of taking accountability. Dangerous, honey. Dangerous. Two of swords, confused. They don't know what's coming. They don't know which way they're going. They don't know what the hell is going on. Seven of cups. Somebody projected so many doggone illusions that they're out of touch with reality. Let's just call it what it is. Four of swords. Okay, tired, drained, not able to get up and live. This is what somebody projected and it bounced off of us and it went right back to them. They can't do anything with that stagnant energy. So when we say that we're transmuting the energy, it's the power and the strength that you sent in order to do this. Somebody mustered up all their strength. So we keep that part, but the illusions and all that stuff, what we can't do with that, our energy naturally sifts through that and it bounces off of us and just goes back to you. And this is why you're sick. Somebody's physically ill. Somebody's also overindulging. Okay. Could be drinking. These cups are giving me cups. You know, blame it on the al 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 alcohol. Blame it on the vodka. Blame it on the henny. Blame it on the eh, 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 eh. Okay. Well, you know, I'm happy. The sun is here. Okay, the sun is bright, it's shining, we're happy, we're not curbing our enthusiasm. We're being guided to just continue to ignore these people and let judgment do what it needs to do. I'm going to get out of the way of judgment and I'm going to allow judgment to do whatever it needs to do. So new moon energy, they did it again. Somebody sealed their fate and now they mad again. Somebody is mad too soon, <laughs> okay? Somebody's like, damn, I just did this Sunday night and you already in the eight of swords, nine of swords. All these swords, mental, 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 losing their shit. The hangman, somebody's stuck. Somebody got set down by swords. Like, can you see now? Okay, these are the ones. You see these ones right here? Yeah, these ones right here, they're marked by the creator. They're not to be touched. Can you see it now? Somebody's like, hey, I don't know. Victimize, eight of swords. Put your punk ass through that dark night of soul and go heal. Yeah, look. We were supposed to abandon our journey and now they got to abandon. Yeah, look, we're not walking away from this 10 of pentacles. Are you crazy? Every single last one of those pentacles has my soul tribe's family's name on it. That's ours. What are you talking about? Hmm. 
This is the message, y'all. I love y'all so much. I really, really do. This is New Moon Energy Check. I did not think it was going to take us on such a roller coaster of a ride. But apparently, it's a thin line between love and hate again for these people. And it's just love for us. It's radiance. It's, yeah, like, nah, we're not going back to hell for nobody. I'm not. Mm -mm. Going back to this for what? Why? No, no, no. Listen, whenever I come across somebody that's having a bad day, I tell them, listen, I'm having a good day. Go fix yourself. I'll be here. You know, go deal with yourself. That's not fair to project that energy onto somebody else because your life is in misery. But then again, what did you think you were going to get out of putting out all of this, you know, negative weight? Yeah, like mm -mm, you got to expect at some point that shit's going to come back to bite you in the ass. OK, and so the bite in the ass is a bitter one. Hence the fact that they're bitter. Bonnie's, Bobby's and Betty's. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this is for the angels, okay? I'm not celebrating anybody's downfall. I, we really don't care. I'm just here to be the messenger, y'all. And I pray that you got the confirmation. If you'd like to donate to the channel, uh, donate. If you want to donate some love and light, then sprinkle that all over the place. Put that in the comments. Give me a heart. Give me a flower. I love flowers. I love all flowers, y'all. I love y'all. I really do. I'll see you in the next video. I love you. I love you. I love you. Until then, peace be with you.